is your boy Zach just completely out of his mind? He's doubling down again, this time attacking Nerdrotic, Chris Gore, Critical Drinker. I mean, my gosh, uh, can he take any more L's and still survive? I don't think so. And I, I think he's getting into like a desperation mode at this point because he keeps doubling down on this stuff. Uh, and then he's launching a new campaign again. This is like the third campaign in the last like two months. Something's wrong over there. Uh, and I don't know what it is, but uh, <laughs> we can only speculate here as we get into <clears throat> the continued meltdown of your boy Zach and the destruction of what was once a great diversity in comics channel. Very sad to watch. All right, my name is John Delarose, everybody. I am an actual culture warrior uh, wanting to fight Marvel and DC. I don't want to work for them like your boy Zach does, <laughs> I guess. He's he's lamenting, I guess. He's getting to the end of his uh, rope where he, you know, is getting to the, maybe to the point where he knows he's never going to work with them at this point, even though he tried very, very hard. I, I don't want that. I just want to make my own comics. I'm very happy doing so. I'm happy to have my own readers. And I don't uh, really want to be a part of that establishment system. So, guys, I really appreciate you being here. We are making the best comics out there, and that's why we're growing. Uh, this campaign right here, The Hidden Emperor, my sci-fi graphic novel, is actually at about 40% more uh, than the backing was for the first book. Uh, and that's the word of mouth of people going, gosh, this is a really, really good book. And I hope you'll come in and join us as well. Hope we earn your support. Check it out. There's lots of different options. I give digital versions if you just want to check things out. We have the complete A. Lorin stories. And I even have like a leather bound edition, uh, which combines the first two books into one. It's going to be beautiful. Very, very high quality leather. Uh, I, I'm a big leather book collector myself, believe it or not. Something I could talk about in another video maybe. Uh, but uh, I've always wanted this. This will be the first time I have a book in a leather-bound edition. Would love for you to grab that. It's in the description below. Thank you guys so much again for the support. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Join us here as we talk about everything that's going on in the comic industry. All right. So I've covered the meltdown over and over as he just attacks people who are on his side of the culture war. Uh, it's very strange. Your boy Zach used to be a channel just about relentlessly going against uh, mainstream comics. He would tear up the comics. He would call Heather Antos a cum dumpster. I mean, and and, and I think he he took a little too much heat from them because he got he he kind of tucked tail, ran away from Twitter, and now he uses his community posts uh, on YouTube like it is a Twitter account. Very very weird. Uh, he he posts way too much on here. Uh, and he just gets angry at other YouTubers uh, who are doing the same thing as him, but in different spheres. So in your boy Zach's mind, it's totally great for him to uh, just savage a Marvel comic about a kid's cart, you know, character. Uh, but then when he then he'll throw a fit about Nerdrotic doing a review of The Acolyte or something like that. And he'll be like, it's a kid's show. What are you doing, you grifter? Very weird. He's been bleeding off a lot of his audience as a consequence. He's lost like 10% of his audience uh, and subscriber count over the last uh, few months here during this spiral. And it's just escalating and getting worse. He keeps doing more and more and more of this and less and less and less of the content that everybody loves on his channel. Uh, <laughs> it's quite the opposite over here. Like uh, you guys clearly want me to discuss this, discuss culture war stuff. Uh, that's going on within comics. So I'm doing more of that and uh, and and less of uh, the, the stuff that doesn't get views. It's called uh, catering to your audience. Uh, and that is something that he used to lecture Marvel and DC about doing. If you guys remember that back in the day, the hot dog vendor, he would talk about that. He'd say Marvel and DC need to make books for the comic readers, uh, the people who actually understand this and love the characters. Uh, and that's the whole problem. And they're not doing it. And we need to call them out until they keep doing it. That, that was the whole point of what he was doing. And he'd mock them and shame them, and I loved it. We all loved it. Um, well, Nerdrotic does much the same thing with The Acolyte, with Rings of Power, with Doctor Who. Uh, Chris Gore is a wonderful reviewer. There's X-Ray Girl, a nice lady. You know, I've met all these people in person, and they're wonderful. Um, and, uh, and, and they actually do care about what they're talking about. And it shows. That's the reason they have huge audiences. So uh, your boy Zach's getting really mad, and he calls this how to look like petty, immature shitheads to any normal person. Um, what? <laughs> He's got 9,000 people watching his live stream. Uh, holy crap. And this is just when your boy Zach took it. I mean, usually he gets around twelve to 20,000 people on these live streams. Um, talk about jealousy. I mean, gosh, 
it'd be nice. I mean, like, uh, you know, I applaud him for that. Applaud him for catering to the audience. That's like more people than are watching The Acolyte at any given time. That's pretty crazy. So congrats to Nerdrotic for uh, having such a great live stream that entertains people uh, that is on our side of the culture war. Uh, and uh, that mocks and shames Disney to tuck their tails and run home. Uh, that's exactly what we want more of. We want Disney uh, to be on the run. We want them to stop with this kind of thing. And he says, didn't they already have a funeral for the entire Star Wars franchise just last month? Yeah. And now the Acolytes confirmed canceled. Uh, so this is pretty funny stuff. Uh, but uh, your boy Zach doesn't have a sense of humor anymore. He used to. Uh, he's just grumpy all the time. It's because he's uh, he's spiraling and losing subs, and he just keeps doubling down on these attacks. Now, I looked at this again, and this is Nerdrotic's, like, post uh, channel. This is a secondary channel that he just, like, uh, puts up the live streams after they're off the air. Already 32,000 views in less than 24 hours. So why are they doing this stuff? Well, there's an audience for it that's enjoying it. It's called entertainment, you boy, Zach. Remember, you're an entertainment channel talking about entertainment products. It's it's like ridiculous. Uh, but <laughs> gosh, you can't get through to this guy. He just keeps going and going and going. And I guess he went and saw Alien Romulus. He's now going to do a movie review of it uh, instead of doing a comic thing like his channel's all built apart. These birthday clowns are lying to you. So, so somebody else's take on a on a movie is a lie, uh, based on based on just like what they saw. Very very weird. Um, he just is again going at these people for no reason that doesn't help whatsoever. Now, if you look at his videos, um, it's the same. It's you know, it's it's a decline. He's getting a, a little bit on the the uh, the attack on Critical Drinker and Nerdrotic and their talks on Alien Romulus. Uh, he decided to just go at them over it uh, again, and he's uh, you know not getting as many views on uh, the other stuff uh, that he's talking about. So maybe he's just doing it for views, and he he wants that five thousand view sweet 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 uh, algorithm there uh, compared to uh, whatever's going on. Since we checked in on him the other day, he's lost another. Uh, it looks like he's lost another. Uh, this is uh, ninety nine thousand. It's another two hundred subscribers. So the, the the fans don't like it. His people don't like it, and he's not listening to them. The, the, the boy Zach of 2018 would be covering this. If, the, if, if this was Marvel, and, let's, and your boy Zach is a good analog for Marvel, he'd be covering this, and he'd be, he'd be showing the view counts, and he'd be saying they're going down, they're going down, they're doubling down. These people are train wrecks. Uh, they got to just sell the hot dogs that the people want. And he's refusing to do it. He literally has turned into Marvel Comics. He is literally one of them. But that's what he always wanted to be, guys. He always wanted to be a Marvel writer. He wanted to write X-Men, G.I. Joe. And he really thought that if he just showed them how bad their books were, uh, that they they would go, you know what, Zach? Yes, you're right. We're going to hire you. Uh, and he did have a following that was really formidable for a while with Jawbreakers and the like. Uh, those books were selling uh, like crazy. And because of that, uh, they were at the point where, you know, I mean, Marvel maybe should have done something at the time, but they're not going to because they hate you. They want you dead. That's the it's a culture war for a reason. It's not it's not that uh, they they just uh, are, are putting out a low quality book here and there and like they're They're going to just fix it. No, these people are trying to push an agenda above all else. It's creepy, weird leftism. It's communism. They hate capitalism. Uh, they're angry, bitter people who are embedded at this company. And they want you dead, Zach. Uh, that that's them. Ner Gary Nerdorotic doesn't want you dead. He just like uh, wants to laugh at a movie that's bad. That's all. It's not a big deal. And so for some reason, you can't go at the real people. You can only go at uh, these these strange ones. You got a weird obsession with like T. Franklin, who like doesn't matter, uh, has no relevance whatsoever. Uh, let's call out the real things that are being done. Where's your, where's your video on Ultimate Spider Man and how they're replacing Black Cat with a black chick? Uh, how come we don't see that? How come we don't see the Ultimates? Uh, these are the big things at Marvel right now that are that are actually selling books. Uh, the Ultimates now is is pushing this anti-white agenda. How come you're not talking about that? Very odd. But he does have a new comic book campaign. Let's see how. Let's check in on how this is going. Another bad idea for Zach is he's launched like three campaigns in recent. Oh no! You want to talk about the opposite in Nerdrotic? He's got 30k two views uh, on this upload in 19 hours. He's got. Uh, 12,000 live viewers. Uh, he's got super chats going crazy, making good money. Zach's putting up a comic, and it's it's it, we are like a full day into this now. He's got under 100 backers with a $22,000 fixed goal. 
Uh, wow, this might not even fund. The last one only hit $15,000 because people are sick of it. People were supporting Zach for his culture war content. Zach, you're, you're not a very good writer. I mean, I hate to tell you this. That's why you started hiring Chuck Dixon to do this stuff. And people were backing you because they thought you were going to fight the culture war. They'll do it again, but you got to get back on track. You got to stop attacking your allies all the time because it's absolutely absurd and it's really, really sad. And this is really, really sad and pathetic to watch as well. Um, less than $5,000 on the first day of a campaign. I mean, honestly, like we're a small channel and we're, we've been we've been doing this on YouTube a lot less long time than Zach. And uh, our, our, our beginning of our campaigns are doing much better than his now. And that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, with 100K subs and a comic book sub channel, like you really shouldn't have that going on, but it is. Uh, if he doesn't turn things around, I mean, it's just going to keep spiraling like this. And I don't see like, I see these campaigns starting to fail. He's putting these fifteen, twenty thousand uh, dollar goals uh, over and over and over again without delivering. I mean, there, there's a massive weird spiral there. It's like he's getting completely desperate to just like put out stuff as fast as he possibly can before it all burns out and fades away. And it looks like that's where we're at. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to back a real alternative, this is here for you guys. The Hidden Emperor, get in on this today. Let's get us over the 30,000 hump here because that's where I've hired Mike Barron, uh, the creator of Nexus, wonderful Punisher writer. Uh, he's going to be doing a four-page short, which we're adding to this. Uh, it's a very fun script, and I want to get this drawn uh, ASAP for you guys. Go grab a leather-bound edition or grab my whole library. I've got 12 full graphic novels. Uh, and I actually come out with them. Uh, part of part of your boy Zach's problems is he's, you know, I, I still haven't got my one dollar book from like 2020 or whatever it was. Uh, all of my books uh, come out within just a few months of the campaign being done. And then we just move on to the next book. Uh, we've been doing this for a while, and uh, we have a track record of delivering quality product to you guys repeatedly. Uh, and that's why we're growing. It's very as simple as that. So, geez, simple Zach, get over it. We'll be back soon.